Hi everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm greeting you based on the time of where you are right now. How is everyone doing? I believe everyone is doing absolutely fine. Thank you so much for coming on, on today's live. And today we are treating something that I know most of us, we suffer from. Even if you're not suffering from it, you know somebody that is suffering from it, or you have a brother or a sister, a mother, a father that is battling with this. Today we are mixing two ingredients that will help to bring down blood pressure. Yes. And these two ingredients are very, very common. They are the things we use almost every day. <laughs> if you know the ingredients I'm talking about, if you know these two ingredients that can help to bring down blood pressure when they are combined together, that will bring down blood pressure, reduce the numbers of their systolic and the diastolic uh, pressure. If you know the name of these two ingredients, can I see the comment, please, so that we can go on into this topic. And I'm going to be showing you how you can prepare this. Yes, I'm going to try my best to show you, if I can, how to prepare this recipe, this simple recipe that you can try right now. And you're going to come back to the comment section and you're going to tell us what the combination has given you because it's gonna give you a good result. Thank you so much for coming in. If you jump in, please let me see your comment on the comment section. Nobody knows these two ingredients. They are very, very common. Yes, they are very, very common and they are already in your kitchen right now. If you know somebody that is that is uh, trying to bring down his or her blood pressure, this video, you can recommend this video to the person to watch. And I have some videos I have also linked on the comments, on the description box that I did about blood pressure, some things, there are some drink that you can be drinking that will also help to control and lower the blood pressure. Thank you so much. I'm waiting on some people to come in, then we can go on. Thank you so much for coming in. So it shows that nobody knows the, these two ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead to talk about these two ingredients. Yes. Can you say hi? Let me know who is watching me. Say hi and let's, let me know if I am being heard, if you're hearing what I'm saying. It seems that nobody is hearing me. Are you hearing me? Please let me know. Okay. Flora Gibson from Tezax said, I think garlic is one of it. You guessed right. Garlic is one of the two ingredients that you mix together. Actually, three ingredients, but one of it is optional. So I didn't add it as the mass ingredient that everybody can use. Hello from Vanessa Grant. Thank you so much for jumping in. Okay. The two ingredients we are going to be making use of in this video, I wouldn't want it to be a long one anyway, is garlic, like somebody have already said. Hello, Rosaline from Zim Zambia. Hello, cooking with Mata. Thank you so much for jumping in. The first one, like somebody said, from Texas is garlic. She guessed rightly. And the next one is lemon these two ingredients is what we are going to be making use of today in the very fast and quick recipe i'm going to be showing you in today's live stream 
As I go through it, I will tell you the things that you're benefiting, why these two ingredients and some other food that you can as well be eating, be adding to your diet that will also help you to manage your blood pressure. And I will also share with you some tips on what you should do and what not to do to be able to manage the blood pressure. So before I will tell you the other food that you can eat to be able to help to control the blood pressure, I will first of all show you if the fire will go fast in making this recipe so that you know the, how to combine them and be drinking them. So the first thing you'll be needing, like I have shown you, is these two ingredients. The third ingredient, I will show you why I go. After preparing these two, then I will show you so that that one is optional. It's not something that everybody might use, but I will also show you. So what you will need is a cup. I'm having two cups here. I'm having two cups for reducing. So as we go on, you know why I'm having two cups. The first cup, we are going to use it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to see if I can show you a little bit of what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. So the first thing you will be needing is, this is my hot water. So what you have to do is to add some hot water in a cup. Half cup of hot water, then cold water. By so doing, you're getting what warm water. That is the that is the thing in this. So I'm going to get one. One garlic glove. You can use one, you can use two, but for the purpose of people that cannot handle garlic, I know most of us, we don't like garlic or that. So this is one garlic and I'm gonna crush it. This is a garlic crusher. I'm gonna crush it into the warm water. So this is it. I'll be showing you what I got. This is garlic, one garlic. So after crushing in the one garlic, you will get your lemon. I've washed my lemon already. So I'm gonna cut. And for the lemon, what we need in the lemon is the lemon juice. So I'm gonna use my citrus presser or citrus juicer to get the juice of this lemon. Remember what I told you about the video I did about lemon? Lemon is very, very good. Everyone needs it. Everyone needs lemon. So I'm putting in the juice of this lemon here. So that is the juice of one lemon. You can go for half if you cannot handle one full lemon, but it doesn't hurt. So this is it. So this is one garlic glove and juice of one lemon. You are meant to leave this to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. So within that 10 to 15 minutes, let's talk about what you can, why you have to mix these two ingredients together. Thank you everyone that jumped in. How often you can take this? 
I will advise you take this in the morning. In the morning. And before, let me say this before you take this. If you are taking, if you are taking a blood med, a hypertensive medication, you have to speak with your doctor before you can add this to your diet or to your routine. Because ginger, because garlic, sorry, has also is a thin, is a, it, it thins the blood. So you have to be careful. You have to speak to your doctor so that you know if you can take this. We all know that different things causes hypertension. So it depends on what causes your own hypertension. You can take this, like he, he, the person asked, Vanessa asked how often you can take it. You can take it if your body carries it well, you can take this twice a day, morning and night. But if your body did not carry it, you can take it once a day. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. My love 47 vlog. Thank you so much for jumping in. So what your what garlic can do for you? you know, we know that garlic is an active ingredient. And it has this active ingredient that is called allicin. This allicin increases the availability and the activity of something called nitric acid, nitric acid. And this nitric acid helps to dilate the blood vessels and relaxes the smooth muscle of the inside of our arteries. And by so doing, making the blood vessels to be able to move smoothly in your body. And by so doing, it's bringing down the blood pressure. That is, that is what garlic gives you. That is why we add garlic in this. It helps to dilate the arteries, to make your blood flow normally. And lemon, lemon is also very important. It's, a, it's one of the best remedies also for hypertension. It is known to make the blood vessels soft and flexible. It helps to soften the blood vessels, making it to be smooth for the flow of the blood and it cleanses. We all know that lemon is a cleanser, it's a detoxifier, it cleanses your blood vessels, your arteries, so as to make the blood flow freely and flexible. And it also has vitamin C, an antioxidant, that is good to fight against free radicals. So these two ingredients are very, very good when combined together to be able to control blood pressure. I'm, I'm trying to stay so that it can infuse into the water because we need to strain it out. But if you can drink it like this and chew the garlic alongside while you're drinking it, kudos to you. It works so wonderfully. But if you cannot handle it because of the uh, pepperish, uh, it's, it's spicy, it bites the tongue, it bites you, it's, it hot your throat while you're biting it and chewing it and swallowing it, then you can strain it out. I'm trying to go through the comment without a this. Thank you so much, Diana Jordan. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mawusi Chike from Trinidad and Tobago. I appreciate you for jumping in. So while we are waiting for the 10 minutes to reach for us to strain it, let me go through some other food that you can as well add to your diet that will also help you to manage and control blood pressure. Most of these recipes, I have used them in my recipes. One of them, or most of them, the first ingredient I have written here is banana. Banana is also good because it's, it, is, it is high in potassium. Potassium is very good to control and bring down blood pressure. If you're hypertensive, eat food that is high in potassium. As long as your body can carry it, your potassium is needed if you really want to control blood pressure. And celery is also good for blood pressure, watermelon, and the seed, watermelon with the seed. 
The seed of watermelon is very good for hypertension. Citrus fruit, like one of the ones that like the lemon we use, you can use lime, you can use grapefruit, all these things are good for hypertension. You <clears throat> Berries are also good, especially blueberries. Beet juice, beet juice is good. If you can juice beet, they are also good for managing hypertension. If you, as I'm calling this food, please be sharing with us on the comment section other things, other food that I did not mention here that you think is very good to manage hypertension. Dark chocolate is also good. Those ones that are high in dark chocolate, not white chocolate, not sweet chocolate, the one that has about 80% of dark chocolate is what you need to control blood pressure. Don't go and be buying sugary chocolate and say that I said dark chocolate is good. I mean dark chocolate. It's more of cocoa, the one that is 80% of cocoa. So that is what you need. Olive oil is good. Try to be using olive oil to prepare your food. Add them in your salad. Anywhere you can use olive oil. Olive oil is good. It's one of the best oils that you can use to cook. Um, apple cider vinegar is also good. Like I did in my in one of my live videos, adding apple cider vinegar and lemon and drink them first in the morning will also help to bring down your blood pressure. Kale, spinach, um, spinach, onions, you adding onions in your salad, juicing uh, spinach, kale, adding them in your smoothies. When you're making smoothies, they are so, so good for controlling blood pressure. Food rich in vitamin K, uh, like greens. Most greens are rich in vitamin K. So be able to add greens to your diet. Make a bowl of salad, add different kinds of greens. You can add spinach, add lettuce, add uh, different kinds of greens and you add onion. Onion is good to eat raw. Raw onions is very good also to control blood pressure. Your cruciferous vegetables are also good, like broccoli, uh, uh, Brazil sprout. All those things are good to control blood pressure. Add them to your diet. You are going to benefit a lot. And when you're doing this, please make your food at home. Eat homemade food. Eat homemade food. Reduce visit of fast food. I'm not, I know, I'm, I know it's not easy to quit it entirely, but let your homemade food be more than you eat outside. Somebody also said turmeric. Turmeric is also good to control blood pressure. Thank you so much for contributing to this topic. I appreciate every one of you. I also, this one, I also drink hibiscus tea and for a gallon of water per day. High fiber food is helping me very much. Thank you so much, 2010KH, for contributing to this. Yes, water is one thing that also brings blood pressure down. Drink lots of water. It's going to help your arteries. It's going to help the blood to pump well. It's going to help a lot in your digestion. It's, it's going to help to detox your body of dog toxins. You know, when your body is packed with toxins, it contributes also to increase, increasing the number of the blood pressure. So those are few foods that you can add to your diet. There are a lot of them that you can add to your diet that will also help to bring down blood pressure. So with that, I'm going to be talking or giving tips on how to control blood pressure. Some things that you can do on your own at home that will also help to bring down the blood pressure, be able to manage it. Manage it is what we are talking about because we need to manage the blood pressure. Bringing it down to the level, the, the number is supposed to be. And meanwhile, the number of blood pressure that is at a better level is when your, when your systolic pressure is, is under 140 and, the, and your diastolic is under 90. 
that is 140.90 go down. But when it's 140.90 upwards, then you have high blood pressure. Thank you so much, uh, Biznet, for that, your support. I appreciate you. So we are going to go into ways to control blood pressure without medication, something you can do at home that will help you. But before that, before that, let me strain this out because I need to be also be drinking this. Even if you are not hypertensive right now, this drink is very good. It can stop you, it can prevent you from being the, uh, hypertensive. And if you know somebody that is battling with this, that needing need something to drink to control the blood pressure, this is something that you can share with the person and the person can also be doing this and benefit from it. And this is a requested video. Somebody asked me to make a recipe, something that can control blood pressure as fast as possible as something that you can drink within the space of 30 minutes and your blood pressure has reduced has gone down i'm trying to strain this let me not make a mess okay so this is this drink this is the drink here we have the the lemon juice and crushed ginger, crushed garlic juice. Why am I always calling ginger? Because I like ginger. So this is it. The next ingredient you can add to this, if you cannot drink it like this, you can drink it like this. It's so wonderful if you can drink it like this. But if you cannot, then you can add honey. Yeah, because we know that ginger, uh, garlic is the taste of it or the smell of it is overwhelming and meanwhile the lemon juice in it will also bring down the smell of it in your mouth it's gonna bring it down so good so adding lemon is very very important because it reduces the smell of the garlic in your mouth like people say i can't take garlic because if i chew garlic or if i drink garlic water it smells whenever i talk but with lemon, it doesn't smell. Try it. Thank you, NKMC TV. Thank you so much. So this is good to drink like this. But if you cannot, then you can add one teaspoon. This is a teaspoon. One teaspoon of honey. I'm doing this for video purposes, but if I wanna drink it on my own, I don't add honey. So you add honey, mix, 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 mix. It's like my water is not warm enough. But we don't really need too much of warm water or hot water because we wouldn't want to lose the benefit of the lemon juice and the garlic, the garlic in it. So don't make it hot, please. Just make it warm water. And using warm water is good because it works so good. It works so fast because you don't have to give your body cold water. I always say it. Drink warm water, it helps in your digestion, it helps to melt fat, it helps to detox the body, it helps to get rid of a lot of things in our body. So warm water is advisable for you to drink, especially if you're in a very cold weather. If you're in a hot weather, maybe you go out and you feel warm, but you can't be in a cold weather, weather and you are drinking cold water every day. So... You see, it has gone out of my spoon. It just take little time and everything will go into the water. So you don't need too much of hot water. So this is the drink. 
that will help to bring your blood pressure. Do this. Check your blood pressure before you drink this. And after drinking it, you wait like 20, 30 minutes. Check your blood pressure again. Even 25, 30, 20, 25 minutes, check your blood pressure again. And you're going to notice that this thing has really helped to bring the blood pressure down. I would like to have comment on this video. If you really try it, please let us know the results that you got from it. So while I am drinking this, it's good. You don't even taste the garlic so much because of the lemon in it and you add honey. But you can drink it purposely. You can drink it because it's good without honey. The lemon in it has really taken care of the garlic taste and the... So, ways to control blood pressure without medication. There are some things we have to do to help ourselves. Is you have to watch your waistline. Yes, reduce your weight. If you have added uh, extra pounds, try as much as you can to reduce them. You need to reduce the weight because that also contributes to your in to you having high blood pressure. Remember, blood pressure can be caused by different things. It depends on what causes yours. But if you're overweight, that is another thing that can rise up your blood pressure because the arteries are not, the blood in the, the blood are not flowing smoothly through the arteries. So the next thing you can do to help yourself is exercise. Only walking, if you can walk for 30 minutes, one hour in a day, you are good to go. Yes, exercise is very important if you really want to control blood pressure. Not even too much of exercise, as in heavy exercise or strenuous exercise. Only walking alone can do a lot. Taking a walk, receiving those fresh air, fresh, fresh air, and moving your body from one place to the other for the period of 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour is very good in bringing down the blood pressure. And the next thing you have to also do is to eat healthy diet. Eat food that are high in potassium. Spinach, banana, avocado, all those things are high in potassium and you need them to bring down your blood pressure. Another thing you can also do while you're eating healthy diet is to cook food at home. Make your food at home. Because when you make your food at home, you know exactly what goes into your food. You know the quantity of salt, quantity of sugar you have to add to your meals. Then when you go outside and eat something that another person prepared, you don't know what the person has already added to that food. So making your food at home is very, very important. And the next thing is to reduce sodium. Reduce salt. Where you can also reduce this salt is by reading labels. We go to market, we shop, we buy things, especially we buy canned food. All those things have lots of salt in them. Read labels. They are going to help to they are going to help you control the quantity of salt that you take and eat less of processed food. We go to market, we grab any food that is already processed, we grab a pizza that is already processed. We don't know. We don't know the quantity of salt that has been added to that, that one pizza. But if you're making it at home, you will not add that quantity of salt, believe me. But what are we going to say? What, what, what are we going to do? We want fast food, food that has, has been already been prepared, that we just grab them, throw them into the oven, or throw them into the microwave, and food is ready. <laughs> it's good sometimes to have fast food. But don't make it as habit if you have hypertension because it's going to continue to rise up your blood pressure. Go very low in salt. I have, I have said that while you're going low in salt, you can use herbs and spices to flavor your food. We have lots of uh, things that we can use naturally to flavor our food. Those things are better than adding so much of 
salt, sodium into our food. Next thing you can do is to limit the amount of alcohol. How many cups of alcohol do you drink in a day? Contribute to where your level of hypertension supposed to be or where you're taking it to. So limit the amount of alcohol you take. Quit smoking. Smoking is, is not good if, you're hyper, if you have hypertension. Reduce stress. I know this word already is, being, is stressed. The life we are living already is stressed. If you have children, you might say that your children, your children are stressing you or your work is stressing you or you go through a lot. We all know that we, I know that we all go through a lot, but manage it if you really want to control your blood pressure. Manage stress, manage your stress, manage everything that is making you to be tensed. When you, whenever you are tensed up, your blood pressure goes up. If you are not able to manage it, then you will continue to have that kind of level of blood pressure. And cut back on caffeine. You drink, I know caffeine has its own benefit and it also has disadvantages. So cut down on it. Don't drink much more than you're supposed to drink. Don't drink more than you're supposed to drink. Drink quantity that is manageable, that is good for you. you no, know, our bodies are different. The way you feel about a particular kind of food, a particular kind of lifestyle might not be the same way I'm going to feel about it. But if you're suffering from this and the other person is not suffering from what you're suffering from, you see, you cannot continue to live the same kind of lifestyle because the person might eat that thing that if you eat it, you don't feel comfortable. So no need of trying to live somebody else's life when the life the person is living is okay for him and it's not okay for you. So manage your own life, manage your own situation, manage your own health, manage anything that you know you can manage on your own. And you feel much better than trying to live like other person, trying to eat what your friend is eating, trying to eat what me personally, sometimes I don't eat what my children eat. I don't eat what my husband eats because I want to eat something that I feel okay and comfortable with. So that is how it is if you have if you have blood pressure. And the last thing I have to say here on ways to control blood pressure is to monitor your blood pressure. Monitor it. We have uh, something to monitor blood pressure now that is very affordable. Just go to the market, get it. You can get the one of the risk. You can get the one for the arm, whatever that you can get and monitor your blood pressure is very, very necessary. It's very, very good. So, garlic could burns your cells. It depends on the quantity of garlic you eat that burns your cell. If you use one, one garlic and put in a water with a dilute with water with lemon, it can never harm your body. And it's not something that you eat, you eat in large quantity. It helps to detoxify your body. It depends on what you're suffering from. It depends on what, like I said, it depends on the kind of health issues that we have determine what is good for each and every one of us. I miss the amount of the water. If you miss the amount of the water I added, you can go back to the video and start watching, but I'm gonna say it for the last time. Yeah, I just use one garlic and the juice of one lemon. Mix them together, allow them to sit for 10 to 15 minutes, then strain it out. If you can drink it like this, drink like that. If you cannot drink it, add a teaspoon of honey, raw honey, natural honey then you, you drink this first thing in the morning. And please, like I have said before, if you are taking blood pressure medication, speak to your doctor before you start this uh, mixture combination of these things to drink for blood pressure so that you don't complicate things for yourself. So, that is what I have for you today. I hope with this, somebody can 
be able to control and be able to get a faster result of bringing down the number of the blood pressure. This is very, very good for managing blood pressure, bringing it down instantly. So guys, any other question before we we'll call it a day? Because I wouldn't want this to be a long video. Thank you so much, NK Messi TV. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all for jumping in, for joining us today. Thank you so much, Flora Gibson. I thank you so much. You are one of the people that join us today very early. I thank you so much. Yeah, somebody, I didn't see this. Somebody said onions. Yeah, onions are good for blood pressure too. I like eating raw onions, especially in my salad. If I don't have onions in my salad, I don't feel satisfied. Let me use that word, satisfied, because it, I like the crunchiness of onions and I like the taste it gives when I'm chewing it with greens and other vegetables. And it's also good for the eyes too. So thank you so much for jumping in today. I appreciate each and every one of you that join us today. I thank you so much. You took out your time and you contributed by watching, you contributed by typing, by commenting, by doing one or two things, by giving this video a thumbs up. I thank you all. And I ask you, please share this video, share it. You never can tell who is going to benefit from it because there are lots of us, lots of people that really want to bring down their blood pressure, especially when it is very, very high. You can make this, at least it's going to reduce, tell if it reduces 10 numbers out of your out of your number, you have, you have really achieved something. So share it so that somebody will also benefit from this. Thank you so much. And it's time for me to go and I'm gonna see you tomorrow in another video. Thank you so much once again. I love you so much and may God continue to bless you as we entered new week today. May all your hard desires be fulfilled. May all your endeavors bring fruitful results in the name of Jesus. Bye-bye and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.